What's up, Lay Bays? Welcome back to my channel if you are returning, and of course, welcome if you are new here. So, your girl is getting back into the dating scene, y'all. So, I did not have a chance to get my hair braided or straightened or anything like styled um, before this date that I have. So, we're gonna go with the quickest and easiest natural style that I can think of that I feel like is gonna look nice. And put together but really cute you know for a first date and hopefully will be super easy for me to go ahead and do in a very short amount of time so I decided to go ahead and show you guys how I do my slick back ponytails my natural curly hair hopefully this helps you guys I will definitely show you what products that I use and just how how I style and how I put together you know my slick back pony so without further ado let's get right on into today's video that we can get it into this slick pony I think I'm gonna do a middle part since it's already parted in the middle um, but yeah I got the braids out I had my hair in a protective style for a little while so what I'm gonna do is I need to wet it I'm trying to see if the spray bottle will work or I might actually have to go in the tub real quick and just wet it um, because otherwise it's just gonna be like wavy like I actually want like my natural curls to be out so I think I am just gonna have to completely wet it so we're probably gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back and then just like quickly do this uh, pony show y'all how I do it so be right back all right y'all so my hair is pretty drenched but definitely wetted enough to go ahead and style the curls so just gonna kind of let the water kind of get through here and then we're gonna brush it back All right, let's get ready to slick this bad boy back I'm gonna use this brush here um, I forgot what this one is called but we're gonna use this one to start just getting the shape together to actually slick it back Okay, so these are the three products I'm going to be using. This is my Holy Grail Curl Product, the Myel Organics Curl Coil Sculpting Custard. I think they changed the name because I'm so used to saying Curl Sculpting Custard, but I think it's Coil. I'm going to be using my Handy Dandy Eco Styler. You can pretty much use like any, any type, but I'm going to be using this clear one here. And then to lay my edges down at the very, very end, I'm going to be using... The Holy Grail Edge product, the 24 hour edge tamer. So we really just want to first and foremost, like I said, just get the shape of this uh, together. But I'm also going to rake that coil, coil sculpting custard through my hair as well. Because like I said, I want the ends, I want my curls to like really show. So I'm going to just rake it through the ends. This is such an excellent product for enhancing your your curls and coils so I love it I absolutely love it and I may end up at the end just like wetting the ends just a little bit more so that the curls you know it can be like super curly but I kind of like how it's behaving so far which is what I like so you guys can kind of see the definition coming together um it's a little hard to see because my hair is really dark but we're going to do that on both sides of my hair, losing a little bit of hair here. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna do this to the other side. Again, I'm just concentrating on the ends because there's really no need to concentrate on the parts of the hair that I'm gonna be laying down with, with the gel to get that nice slick back look. So yeah, just gonna put it on the very, very ends and rake that through. I'm also gonna be use, I'm also using the praying hands method. So as you can tell, just to kind of get that even distribution of that nice curly product. And as it dries, those curls are gonna be even more defined. So everything looks a little flat right now, but it's definitely gonna to come together. And then the front of my hair actually is a lot looser than the back so you guys are probably mostly seeing the front where it's not as curly as the back of my hair so but this is what we're working with so far if you have a widow's peak like me I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kind of take care of that we're not gonna leave it out we're actually we are gonna do something with that so just stay tuned and honestly the product I already had in my hair is kind of helping to lay it down. I already have like a little bit of gel in my hair, so that's kind of helping to lay it down. So I don't need a ton of the Eco Styler in order to finish this style, but I am just gonna lay it down here and then lay it down here. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do that, okay? Super easy, right? And as you can see, the ponytail is formulating, the curls are formulating, which is what we want. Now I'm gonna take like one of my hard brushes to really, really, really slick this ponytail back. Okay, and I'm going to take it a little bit with my hand, continue to slick that back, like that. And you just want it as flat as possible, okay? Don't worry about the edges yet, we're going to do those, we're going to get those done. For now, we just want to get this ponytail together. And the way that I want to do it, I don't want it to be like at the very bottom nap of my neck I think that's what it's called so I'm putting it just a little higher I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I'm putting it just a little bit higher than that and that's gonna just you know show the volume a little bit more as well so now I'm going to use my ponytail holder and get this together now this is always a workout y'all like I feel like my upper body days or anytime I'm wearing a ponytail I hope that's even I can't 100% tell but I hope that's even now, what we want to do is just continue to slick that on back continue to slick that on back look at that look at that look at that okay so Okay, now with the actual ponytail itself, like I said, I just want this like really cute, like flirty, curly pony. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more of that coil sculpting custard just to the very ends of this ponytail because by the time it dries, you know, we're going to see that nice curl pattern that I wanted to see initially. I'm also going to lay this down as well so it can dry a little bit before I do my actual edges with the even. But as you can see, I'm just raking this through. Alright, so let's go ahead and lay this down for a few minutes just to dry this and then we're going to finish it off with the edges and then we're almost done. Alright y'all, so now that we've had an opportunity to slick this part back, lay it down. I should, no, I can't keep it laid down because I'm trying to do the edges. So now it's time for us to finalize the actual edges 
So, let me see. I need, where's my favorite edge brush? Let's get this cleaned off a bit. Give me one second. So, remember I told y'all, those of us with the Widow's Peak, I'm going to show y'all. We're going to definitely take care of that. So, essentially, I'm going to, like, split it in half and take some of the edge control on this half and then some of the edge control you so you see here y'all that's how we're going to do that we're going to literally split it in half and we are going to lay that down okay so i'm going to put a little bit of edge control and as y'all can see i don't really have those edges the baby hair edges so i'm not gonna like do too much with this because i don't want it to look like oh she's just trying to pull edges out of nowhere you know what i mean like we're going to make this look cute, but realistic. And you got to work with what you got, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't really have edges like that, like, what are you going to do? So, I'm going to try and use this mirror, but also show you guys. So, when it comes to my peak, I'm simply going to, like, take that and swoop that, okay? Okay. Then the rest of the edges, like I said, I'm not trying to do too much with it. And this is a little bit of trial and error. So we just do a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But here's the trick to make it match on the other side. Because you don't want to look. You, want it, you don't want it to be uneven. So I'm going to just like kind of. Maneuver with this, y'all. So just bear with me. There we go. And I don't like this gap here. So let's try and fill that in. And then the widow's peak here, that part. Let's kind of fill that in. Let's try. Let's add a little bit more edge control here. Because the thing is with that peak, you don't want it to move. So you have got to make sure that thing is laid down. Otherwise, it's just going to fuzz up and just be this little fuzzy thing right in the center of your head. Okay. So y'all can see this thing is slick. And this is where you got to... I'm going to pull out a little bit more hair here because it's looking a little, I'm looking a little naked around these parts. A little naked around there. Let me just take a little bit out. As y'all can see, this ponytail is slick. It's not going anywhere. In the back is like this okay so this is exactly the look i was going for like i said something cute something polished and something quick like once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy the longest part as y'all can see um we're just like slicking back the edges and everything but i like it i think it's super cute and it's a little bit flirty and it's a very easy quick natural hairstyle for you guys to do so i hope this helps happy dating or just going out in general, you need just a quick, easy hairstyle. I hope this helps. And thank you guys so much for joining me once again. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, and click that subscribe button. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.